Hey there! Today, we're going to learn about flowcharts. What is a flowchart? Flowcharts are like maps for algorithms. They visually represent the steps of a process, making it easier to understand. A flowchart uses shapes and arrows to show the steps of a process and their order. Start the stop symbol. This is an oval shape that is used to mark the beginning or ending point of a flowchart. Input or output symbol. This is a parallelogram shape that is used to show data entering or leaving a program. Process symbol. This is a rectangle shape that is used to represent a step in a process where some kind of calculation or operation is performed. Decision symbol. This is a diamond shape that is used to show a point in the flowchart where a decision needs to be made. The decision is typically determined by a yes or no or true or false question. Let's start with an example, finding the sum of two numbers. Start. This is the beginning of the program. Input X and Y. The program prompts the user to enter two numbers and stores them in variables X and Y. Sum equals X plus Y. The program calculates the sum of X and Y and stores the result in a variable named sum. Print sum. The program displays the value stored in the variable sum on the screen. This value represents the sum of the two numbers entered by the user. Stop. This signifies the end of the program. Now, let's look at another example, comparing two numbers. Here, the flowchart starts with the input of x and y. Then, it checks if x is equal to y. If x equals y, the program prints that both numbers are equal and then stops. If x is not equal to y, the program then checks if x is greater than y. If x is greater than y, the program outputs that x is greater than y and then stops. If x is not greater than y, then y must be greater than x, so the program outputs that y is greater than x and then stops. And that's it! Flowcharts provide a clear visual representation of algorithms, making complex processes easier to understand. Thank you.